When I was about 20 years old, I had just finished high school, and I went into a, a school of discipleship to start getting cred- credentialed as a minister. And when I was done with that season, I heard God tell me real clearly, you're going to go to Paraguay. I was like, Paraguay? Okay, well, I kind of know where it is. South America, bottom of the map, probably the last country. It's not really the last. It's Uruguay, and then it's right above it. Then I thought, all right, well, what am I going to do in Paraguay? I'm just this young girl. I don't really know what I have to offer. And there was a few people that were already there in ministry, and I had been invited by a pastor of a very large church who said, I just want you to come. We'll find out what you can do, and we're just going to throw you in, but we need you because there's a lot of people that need to know Jesus here. And I was like, all right, I'm in. And I remember going to my parents. I was already an adult, but I wanted the blessing from my parents. So I came to them, and I said, here's the deal. I'm going to go to another country for a while. I'm going to miss Christmas and Thanksgiving and all your birthdays and all the special things. But I really feel like I'm supposed to go. And so if you would at least bless it, I'll be really grateful. Otherwise, I'll be miserable over there if I know you don't want me there. And I've shared this before, but I had parents who never gave me their opinion. They only just said, if that's what God wants you to do, then we're for it. That's all they would say. And I remember getting on a plane all by myself, flying, I think, 26 hours total, landing in countries I didn't know the language, just staring at the signs saying, when is mine going? I don't know. I don't want to fall asleep because if I miss the plane, I'm going to be stuck here in Brazil for a long, long time. And I got off the airplane, and I just walking around saying, I hope somebody has a sign that says my name on it somewhere. And I just got there. This is the day before cell phones, before email. I remember I didn't get to call my dad for the first 36 hours of being in country, and it was like a five-second delay. So I was like, hi, Dad. Dad, are you there? And he's already talking back, and then I can't hear him, and it was horrible, and you just want to cry and hang up. And I showed up there, and I just thought, you know what? I just know that I need to make him known. And whatever way that's going to look like, God, I'm here, and I'm just going to obey you. And I spent the next season of my life there learning so many things. I felt like I learned more than what I gave. And I just made myself available saying, God, your heart is that not one person should perish. So if sending a little girl from Casa Grande all the way to another part of the world just to make you known, I'm going. I'm going. And I will tell you this. I am probably not the first person he asked to go. I'm just the one that said yes. 